Getting a little bit more grounded and centered can totally transform your day. And if you're more grounded and centered more of the time, it can totally transform your life because when you're grounded and centered, you're tapped into the foundational energy of your life. You are hooked into you in the most material, positive, glowing, present, amazing way. And incredible things can happen with far more ease. So if you are looking to manifest more by being more grounded, let's dive into some ways that you can do this right now. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Dana Claudette. I'm a modern feng shui master and founder of the School of Intention, which is a whole school of feng shui based on infinite possibility, creative awakening, and your deep desires and wants and intentions. And it is such a transformational thing because you are changing space and shifting the energy within you in ways that feel the best to you. Everything you do in life starts with you. Now you can't control all of life, but you can create a lot more of the outcomes that you want. And one of the best ways to start doing that when you feel like you're not that effective, you aren't manifesting enough, you feel like you have a glass ceiling over you in some way, you're always in survival mode, you're kind of feeling floaty, you're not quite sure what to do next, that's a good sign that it's time to get grounded. I'm making this whole series of videos to walk you through alignment, starting with grounding. So for those of you who know about the chakra system today, we're talking about the root chakra a little bit. Uh, we're going to do so much more of this in the breakthrough camp itself. It's the feng shui camp to light up your home and life with manifesting power. The free videos to kick off the breakthrough camp are below. So you can sign up and grab those. They're going to turn your whole home into a manifesting magnet. They're so powerful. So to begin, easiest way to get grounded is to go outside and walk, preferably barefoot on the grass if you can, uh, really feel that energy under your feet. Now, if you can't walk on the grass, walk and really pound the pavement, like really step hard for a little while, like march down the street or jump up and down, like really feel the ground under your feet, like make it substantial. That is how you start really gluing yourself into the ground, really feeling that deeper connection. Another thing you can do if you can't go outside and I'm sharing with you all very simple tips you can do right now is to breathe through your feet. So just breathe like you normally would, but as you're breathing, just imagine that when you inhale, you inhale through your feet. And when you exhale, you exhale through your feet. And so to breathe a little bit more deeply and just breathe in and out through your feet and feel that energy. And if you want to take it to the next level, you can breathe through your feet and just imagine the air going deeper down into the ground and then coming from deeper down into the ground up and then going down deeper into the ground as you breathe and coming back up until you really feel invigorated. Usually after a few minutes of breathing like that, I feel like a whole new person. This can help with your focus. It can help you again to feel more centered if you're scattered and it can help you to be so much more effective. I do this before I have to do presentations or work with clients or teach just brings you right here right now. It's really, really helpful. Another thing you can do if you have a little bit more time, and this is a little, this might seem a little more metaphysical is to grab a plant and meditate with it. Meaning just put a plant beside you. You know how you would light a candle before you meditate, put a plant with you as you meditate and imagine that you are connecting with the plant as you meditate. So you can close your eyes and just picture the plant in your mind's eye. You can even touch the pot or hold the pot and breathe and meditate and just imagine yourself going into the roots of the plant and exploring and going back up and making a connection more of an immersion with plant life. You can do this with trees. You can sit under a tree and meditate and imagine yourself following the roots into the ground and then coming up and following the tree all the way up to its very top. And then again, the energy coming back down. That is a really fun way to make a really strong connection and immersion with nature where a amazing things start to happen. We are so infinitely linked to nature. Did you know that plants even have serotonin? Plants feel, plants 
are wise. Plants have responses to the environment. Plants clean the air. Plants are our greatest allies. Plants, trees, all of nature. So just surrounding yourself with more nature can help you every day to feel more grounded. Another thing that you can do overall for your life to be more grounded all the time is to go back to basics. Take really good care of yourself. This is a good time to ask yourself, have I been taking really good care of myself? Mentally, spiritually, emotionally. Being grounded isn't just doing an exercise. When you're grounded, you're really truly living in harmony with you on a fundamental foundational level. On a very basic level, have you been taking good care of yourself? Have you been giving yourself enough time alone, giving yourself enough time to do things that make you feel good, giving yourself enough time for replenishing yourself, sleeping, eating? Eating a good meal can be grounding, but it's even better, it's next level when you're eating on a regular schedule, having things regularly a part of your life, having that foundation. When I was growing up, we ate dinner at five o'clock every day, we had breakfast at seven o'clock every morning. Everything was very, very solid. It was very stable. It was like touchstones in the day, having a schedule, something simple like that, that you keep to very specifically for yourself can be game changing. So think about this and bring this into your overarching life and as simple as it sounds, sleeping, eating, having all of those real basic things in your life, taking really good care of yourself can be the ultimate in staying more grounded all the time. And of course, if you wanna take this to the next level and add in, all kinds of crystals and metaphysical things that you can do. There are endless ways that you can get more grounded using all sorts of other tools, but I wanna keep this series really simple so that everyone everywhere can find something that they can use right now to feel better and to start rising up and feeling more aligned, more powerful, more creative, and ultimately more effective. This is the season of making breakthroughs, so I will be back with even more videos to help you move into greater and greater alignment so that you can manifest things with such ease. And uh, below again, you'll find the link to the free Feng Shui Manifesting video series, and if you have questions, comments, leave them below. And if you like this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. There's a whole series coming, as I said, and there's so many more videos on this channel to explore, so I hope you have an amazing time working on energizing your home and magnetizing your life and manifesting brilliant things. I will see you soon. Bye.